Hey everyone, welcome back to AG Tech. In today's video, we're going to talk about a powerful tool that can help fix disk drive errors under Windows System. It's called the System File Checker, or SFC for short. Stick around because I'll walk you through step by step on how to use it effectively. Before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you won't miss any of our future tech tutorials. Alright, let's dive right in. Introduction to System File Checker, SFC. So, what exactly is the System File Checker? Well, it's a built-in Windows utility that helps scan and repair corrupted or missing system files. This is particularly useful when you're facing disk drive errors that might be caused by these files. The first step is to open up command prompt with administrator privileges. You can do this by searching for CMD in the Windows search bar, right-clicking on command prompt, and selecting run as administrator. Running the SFC scan. Once you have the command prompt open, type in the following command. This command initiates the SFC scan, which will search for and repair any corrupted or missing system files. Patience is key. Now. Depending on your system's performance and the number of files it needs to scan, this process may take some time. It's important to be patient and let the scan run to completion. Reviewing the results. Once the scan is complete, the system file checker will provide a report detailing any actions it took. Pay close attention to this report, as it will tell you if any issues were found and whether they were resolved. Reboot your system. In most cases, you'll need to restart your computer for any changes to take effect. So, go ahead and do that now. And there you have it. You've successfully used the System File Checker tool to fix disk drive errors on your Windows system. Remember, this is just one of many troubleshooting tools at your disposal. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone who might benefit from it. And as always, if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, leave them in the comments below.